welcome to my channel so i'm back with another video and if you're new to my channel hi i welcome you if you're not welcome back um and as i said from the previous video please don't get distracted uh i broke my nail so this is just like a cover up but i have a finger and it's functioning well thank god <laughs> so um guys i have a video that i want to share with you guys um it's actually inspired by my um boyfriend he like told me that i should do a video about this i kind of found it weird but it was a compliment at the same time so uh it's also going to be a part of the love and romance selection because i don't know i guess i'm just on that tip i just feel like talking about relationships and love because love is so beautiful and we can always learn and grow and i'm and as i always say i'm not an expert i'm not a relationship expert i'm just someone who has been through a couple of relationships and has learned some lessons and maybe wants to share with you guys okay so the topic is how to love a man <laughs> uh i don't know if i fit being a, a um an expert on this topic but you know um my my boyfriend maybe you're just being too sweet but i don't know we'll see if i have the information or not he, he said that i should really talk about it because um he feels like he's never been loved like this before and <laughs> And I won't lie, it wasn't the first time that I heard about this. And um, uh, so I'm just going to give you guys like my own recollection of what I feel a uh, woman we uh, lack sometimes and what we need to learn about. And I know I don't want this to, um, the feminists to come and attack this channel. OK, um, I just think it's a good it's a good tool. You know, we don't always have to know everything. And it's good to just learn a few things, you know, like I won't lie. I find myself learning from guy guy a life coach guys a uh, relationship coach guys that talk about men because i'm not a man and sometimes it's hard to go inside their mind and you just kind of want to you know and grow you know and learn from your past relationships and you know how to do better and to be better and there's nothing wrong with that so in this video i'm going to be putting on some makeup as well like the previous video and yeah so this is a free flow guys i'm really just going to be just talking about my past relationships and just what i've learned okay so how to love a man guys um i really think the most important thing you can start with is just understanding that um we're different a man and a woman are different as much as we have been programmed as women to kind of get in our masculine energy which has been our hindrance to be honest um we're different and we operate differently and we have different needs and desires okay so the first thing I can just let you guys in on is to understand how the man is and how the man operates. So the man operates mostly in his ego, okay? The 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 ego center, the, the, the solar plexus, the energy point, that energy point is one of the strongest points where the man operates, okay? But in society, we find that we also have been operating deeply as women in this uh, uh, chakra point which has re resulted in imbalance you know in society and us also not honoring our feminine energy and not honoring who we are as the feminines you know and showing up as the feminine in your relationship and you know and doing like your part you know and now we kind of find ourselves you know having to play the masculine role a lot more you know being more protective provider because of just how society has been structured okay but it's just not normal for us to be honest so it's not a bad thing to kind of go back to your feminine energy and understand more about it i do have a video as well that talks about masculine and feminine energy if you do want to understand more so you can understand how we are different you know so the man operates from his ego guys so he really operates from that center that is he's more in the physical world he's more he's more on the ambitious side he's more on the ego side more egocentric okay uh that is just how his his energy operates so i i would say the first thing that we as women sometimes we lack is that we sometimes expect especially society has just made it seem like Yes, the man's job is to chase us, okay? The man's job is to chase us. The man's job is to, um, you know, provide. He's the one that's supposed to be, you know, making these gestures and everything. Although it doesn't have to be like that. You know, a lot of uh, uh, feminists out there are about equal quality, you know. But I don't know. I just feel like a man has his role and I have my role. And 
I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know, I'm, I'm going to stay in my lane. But I'm just going to learn more about what it means to be a woman and just show up as the best woman that I can be for myself and for my man. So, um, yes, guys, like the man, the man has his, his duties, you know. He's the protect, protector, he's the provider, you know, he, he, he does, he's a doer, he does. And we're the receiver, so we're meant to receive from him, okay? But it doesn't mean that, you know, we don't have, like, a certain role. I, I feel like most women sometimes also have fallen short on kind of being caring, you know. Just the simple things of... What I realized what you should do for a man, um, number one, is I think just let them talk. You know, like, that's their, their energy point. Let them talk. Like, sometimes you don't really let our men talk. Let them talk. Let them talk about all the things that they want to do. Give them a... a Give them at safe points. Give them at safe space, you know. Because sometimes it's not always easy for men to actually just be vocal and also talk about their emotions and everything and you know as the woman you need to kind of be that 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 thing you know that 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 person not thing that person uh to hear him to hear him so he can actually yeah offload offload his emotional tension you know stress from work from life from all the duties that he has to get himself into to survive you know how the hustler because that's more how they operate anyway so it's good to kind of be receptive as i said so you maybe not be the one who takes uh control of most of the conversations yes it's good to have a balance it was good for him to know about you and to not be the secretive person but sometimes mystery works okay as a woman uh so just let him be the one who talks a lot more okay even if it's like new in your relationship and things are still new you you want him to kind of be the one who's more in the topics okay who's more in the conversations who's more more talkative than you even if you are a talkative person okay just kind of hold yourself back a little bit so that he can actually express himself because sometimes most men struggle to express themselves and have that difficulty okay emotional uh, vulnerability is a, is a difficulty for them so if you can get him to feel safe around you knowing that you're not gonna judge him okay knowing that you're not gonna be like the men okay so you're not gonna be so much in your ego center okay you're gonna be more in your heart more open more open to receive him more open to understand him okay so yes simple as it is just let him talk more let him be the one who um facilitates the conversations more but not that it's all you just are always quiet and you don't say anything but let him be the one who drives the conversations a little bit more okay it works i don't know why but it does <laughs> so yes guys and also from what i realized not all men are the same guys i'm just going to give you opinions of what i do and what i feel works for me you know compliment him compliment your man you know if he does something nice for you you know, give him praises. They like it. They like it, to be honest. As much as it's, I don't know. People don't really like, the women don't like this idea that you were meant to serve our men. And serving is not like, that. oh my gosh, you're a slave. You know, you're a slave to your man. You bow to your man. You serve him. No, but it's just acknowledging, you know. It really depends on just the type of relationship that you're in, guys. Get out of that program of of you know uh the stigmas out here yes we are meant to take care of our man we are meant to serve him and he's meant to serve us it's it's harmonious there's a balance you know there's work that he does to take care of you and there's work that you need to do to take care of your man okay so yes like do things for him give him compliments first of all i think it just works it works like a charm give him compliments uh it can be looks it can be maybe something that he's done for you um maybe it could be like uh just comparing him a little bit to one of the men like uh maybe like say oh you know you're different because you're not like whatever okay just to give him a boost in his ego men love it okay that is just how they operate if you really want your your, your relationship to be balanced and for it to be harmonious you need to kind of 
boost his ego okay and the thing is the only way we're gonna you're gonna be able to do that is for you to get out of your ego so i really advise most women that want to like learn more how to please their man you need to learn how to get out of your ego okay because we're not meant to operate in that okay we know that's not our main chakra that's not our main chakra and especially when it comes to our man okay that is his main chakra that is where he's operating from okay he's operating more from the ego we need to be operating more from the heart okay that is just how it is okay so yes you know please your man please your man please your man you know compliment him compliment him do do nice things for him you don't have to be like unless he's like well why would you be with someone who's like rude to you in the first place okay so you need to one validate who you are with but you know it's just nice to do something nice for him like maybe cook him his favorite meal if you're not gonna be around maybe leave him some food so he can remember you um you know just do things that are just gonna put a little smile on his face as well as as well as he does things for you okay as well as he, he does things for you it's just a nice way to reciprocate okay um yeah to be honest guys i, I really feel like it's something that is we relax sometimes as women to do something nice for him maybe you know maybe give him a massage you know uh it doesn't always it might lead to a little bit of some 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 else you know nothing wrong with that and then something that i like to do i'm not gonna lie i like to do this as well uh, i don't know if you guys would like um think of it maybe it depends on how your lover is or how he reciprocates or just even how you are as a, a woman but i think it drives men crazy and all men okay if he's a man red blooded man he will love this uh dance for your man dance for your man okay maybe if there's some music playing it can be spontaneous as well it doesn't have to be sexy okay you don't have to whip out the lingerie if you don't want to whip out the lingerie okay but dance for your man dance for your man put on some music and dance like i love to dance like even if i don't really just do it for him like if i'm alone I'll be dancing so if he's there I'll, I'll dance i'll dance i'll come closer to him even if he's not a dancer you know just kind of dance for him let him watch you dance let him watch you dance <laughs> it might lead to other things which is good okay so he's spicing things up and <laughs> but it's it drives them crazy okay it drives them crazy i'm not gonna lie <laughs> I really never thought I was ever going to do this video, but I just felt like <laughs> it's, it's a really good, good tips. It's good tips and they're effortless guys. So it's not like you have to go above and beyond because I also feel like sometimes when you go above and beyond as a woman, it's not good. Okay. And I found myself sometimes at that edge point because they take it, they, they can take advantage of you. Okay. Depending who you're dealing with, but, um, there, there needs to be that balance. Okay. He usually should be the one that is more putting more effort okay to be honest that's just how it needs to be if you want it to be a harmonious union because he's the man he wants to tease the doer so he needs to be doing a lot of of the effort when it comes to really the relationship like um romancing you courting you winning you over okay really that's how it works okay don't let anyone tell you anything else um <laughs> if you want to have like a harmonious relationship okay and it really depends on also how your man is is he more on his feminine side or his masculine side but these tips i feel like they're more for the men that are more masculine i've never really i have been with a feminine man you know and it was a loving relationship but uh i don't think that's the type of man that i would go for but if you're more into men like that it's cool okay it's good because they're also in their heart space but they're not really those men that are gonna like provide for you that are really gonna make you feel safe and make you feel like oh you know that this is my man you want to show him off to your friends to everybody okay so guys like um i know these are like just a few tips but it's just something that you guys can think of okay men men are like little boys they like i kind of realized that even with my son like i kind of already started prepping him i feel really feel sorry for his wife or his future wife i hope she's ready because um men men are like little boys i don't think they ever grow up to be honest uh, they just become bigger you know um they like attention and they like the attention of their women and it's just something that they do and they're competitive naturally okay so you you want him to feel like he's you know 
at his A game because the more confident he is, the more he can show up to you as his divine self, you know, and not distorted. And the more he can really um, praise you as his woman, you know, really show you what it means to be a man because you are showing him you're showing him as well, you know, you're giving him that, that, oomph, you know, and also just to tap into your femininity. Like, that's what I love about just even just um, the balance of just a man and a woman or being in a relationship with a man who's masculine, because it allows me, because the world that we're living in, guys, it's, we're like, it's so masculine and we have to find, we find ourselves really more in our masculine energy and our egos, like just to survive, you know, just survive. So it's nice when it's in, when you're in a relationship, when you're in that polarity, because you're able to now tap into that feminine side okay so for those that didn't um get uh or just like a recap for you guys okay like what i said in the beginning is that you should you know give him compliments give him compliments do some things for him okay cook for him do things for like cook his favorite meal you know do things that are like more feminine okay like caretaker part okay it is our role to take care of our man we are we are caregivers we're caregivers it's, it's important to not run from that okay but just don't overexert yourself okay and also set your boundaries okay so i know sometimes it can go the opposite direction where you care too much and where you are now he's just taking and taking that is not good okay there needs to be a balance but you it's important for you to just know that role that you are the caregiver you give him the care you give him the love you ask him about his day you compliment him okay give him praises compliment him they like it and it really will make your relationship more juicy and uh as i said as well dance for him you know dance for him <laughs> i know it's weird as that is you know like i'm just kind of thinking of beyonce's video where she's dancing for her man really you should do it really should do it i find myself doing it all the time and yeah it ends up in like some steamy things afterwards which is really enjoyable so guys i hope you enjoyed this video how to you know how to love your man how to love your man a little bit better just these little just these little things that you can add you know and to also get yourself out of the ego and to embrace your femininity okay and the role that you also have in that partnership so i hope you enjoy this video peace